the declination angle of the sun is that location or that latitude line where the sun is perpendicular. So in the summer solstice for the northern hemisphere, the sun is perpendicular on the Tropic of Cancer at 23.44 degrees north. After three months, uh, it's on the equator. After another three months, it's on the Tropic of Capricorn south. That's 23.44 degrees. So along this period, it crosses uh, different latitude lines, and uh, we would like to know, according to the time or the date of the year, how can we calculate that latitude line where the sun is perpendicular. So we'll look to the Earth in, in three different angles or, or three different views. This is the first view. Uh, and we'll presume that the sun is rotating around the Earth for simplicity. So on August 1st, the sun is around here in its path. If we look from top view, the sun is rotating and this is here, August 1st. It's 41 days. And so we can get the angle because the whole year is 365, so we can make a simple uh, division and we know the angle. And this angle is this angle here, it's equal. Uh, this line is the one I was showing. P is a projection of the Earth radius when we are looking from here. So we have P, we have the angle, and this is right angle, triangle, and we have the R set any value for the R as long as it's constant uh, in our equations. And this is a cosine relationship between the P and the R. So the P equals R cosine A. Now we know the P. Go back here. This is the L and L is the actual distance between the equatorial plan and the plan of the latitude line uh, where the sun is perpendicular to. This angle we know is 23.44 and uh, we have the P, the projection of, of the uh, radius of the Earth from that angle that we saw earlier. P and L, this is a sine relation. So the L is P multiply sine A2. A2 is just this angle, 23.44. So now we know the L. We need to know the latitude line. We go to the next or the third view. This is the actual distance between the two plans, the equatorial plan and the plan of the latitude where the sun is perpendicular to. And uh, we have this L and R. This is the angle of the latitude line. And this angle is uh, in a relation of uh, sine, sine relation. And the equation is already written. And here, the latitude equals the inverse sine of L divided R. So now let's take those uh, information to a spreadsheet and start calculating to confirm uh, how we're doing. So here's the spreadsheet that I made uh, specifically for this uh, purpose and uh, you can find it in the uh, description of the video. You can download it and use it with uh, any uh, time of the year. So the spreadsheet is, uh, is divided into two halves. This is the first half of our calculations and this is the verification of, of what we're doing. Uh, I'll take Quero as a reference. Uh, from time and date, and Quero is not exactly on the uh, equator. It's uh, a point 22 degrees north. The sun elevation on Quero on the 1st of August is 71.9. The sun declination on the equator uh, equals 90 minus the elevation angle minus the latitude line, which is zero on the equator. And this is the same equation that we're going to use to conclude the declination angle on the Earth on that specific day. So it's 90, oh sorry, I'd say equals 90 minus the elevation angle on that day, 
minus uh, the latitude 0.22 so the sun declination angle on that day on August 1st is 17.88 and this is the error between uh, what time and date says and what our calculations are going to say so here's the R I presume just any number 100 and the angle let's get back to, to the drawing So we need to calculate P, then L, then latitude. Let's put that against the, the spreadsheet. P, L, latitude. First the angle equals 360 multiply the days, they are 41, divide 365.25. The angle is 40 degrees, 0.41. The P equals R cosine the radius equals R by cosine. I cannot put that degree that you see right now. I have to convert it into radius. So the radians of that degrees. I know some people will be upset of me because they urge me to use the radians instead of degrees, but it, it's a habit I cannot get rid of. Now the L. The L. The L equals the P by the sine of this angle, 23.44. So L equals P by sine. Where's the P? Here is the P multiply by sine the radians of 23.44 that's p now the value that we're looking for the latitude line equals the inversion the invert uh, the inverted sine here it's called a sine equals a sine of ah sorry we have to convert it in degrees whatever result is going to uh, we're going to get we want in degrees of the a sine of l divide r so that is the declination of the sun on earth on that specific day and as we see here there's an error of almost a quarter of a degree uh, that's uh, the source of that error is, is two factors the first factor is that the declination angle of the sun changes along the day slightly very slightly the second reason is that uh, for simplicity i use the perfect circular orbit which is not the case and that's what we're going to solve in the next episodes uh, for elliptical orbit. Thank you for watching.